Hey, welcome, and um, the weather outside is frightful. No, I'm just teasing around. Hey, you do have something serious to bring to you, though. Uh, do impart to what's going on with the COVID-19 virus. Uh, do with what's going on in our in our state, in our county, so on and so forth. Uh, the leadership team here has made the decision that we are not going to be doing our holiday banquets, our, our dinners. Um, that includes all of them, okay? Normally we get together for a leadership Christmas dinner. We're not doing that. Uh, we're not doing any of those things. The reason being is we feel it is more important to be able to gather together on Sunday mornings to worship our Lord and Savior. And so we're trying our very best to keep everybody healthy, everybody safe. That's why we're continuing to do the, the distancing thing. Uh, we have a face mask here available to use if you forget yours at home. We have some here. We have hand sanitizer. Uh, we're, we're doing our very best, again, to keep everyone safe and everyone healthy. Um, and so with that in mind, we prayed about it, we talked about it, and our decision was, you know, let's, let's put on hold all our extracurricular activities other than worship. And so we're still continuing to do our, our three times of worship. We meet at 8 o'clock, at 9.30, and at 11. That gives us time in between to clean and disinfect and all that that we need to do. Now, in case you're interested, uh, because I did have a couple of phone calls last week, normally, normally in November we do our uh, Thanksgiving dinner as well as we take up a harvest offering. And so the only reason I'm bringing this up is because several of you have reached out and called me personally, texted me personally. You've asked some of the other people here in the congregation, what are we going to do uh, about the harvest offering? Uh, again, after a lot of prayer, a lot of discussion, uh, if you want to go ahead and send in or make your harvest offering available uh, for the, the church, uh, you can do that a couple of ways. First of all, you can mail it in. Um, or if you want to give cash, put it in an envelope. On the outside of the envelope, please write harvest offering so we can keep that separate. Uh, or if you write a check down in the memo line, uh, write harvest offering so we can keep that separate. Why do we want to keep it separate? Here's why. Uh, we want to be able to share with everyone what we collected for our harvest offering. The other thing, too, is as we have shared with all of you uh, via text message, uh, emails, whatever in person, we are going to use whatever monies we get in for the harvest offering to continue to upgrade and improve our technology. All right. Uh, if you were here for our congregational meeting, you heard some pretty incredible stats on the a number of people who we are reaching with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And to God be all glory and praise and honor. Not us. It's not us. We, do, we don't want the praise. We're going to give it to Jesus. But God is using us as a tool, as a vessel, to share his message. And we want to continue doing that. So just like all things, if you have any questions, any concerns, uh, you can email us, theportoffice at gmail.com, or you can give us a call, 812-591-3807, okay? And so um, be safe, uh, be wise, let's not be flippant, let's do our part to keep everyone healthy so that we will be able to continue to meet together on Sunday mornings, 8 o'clock, 9.30, and 11, so that we can worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, together. 
All right? Any questions, give us a call. Love you all. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, Rhonda, put some more wood on the fire.